on you guys. It's my birthday. <sighs> I love this day. Um, you know, it's funny because I spoke to someone the other day and they were telling me how there's a video, um, some celebrity, someone was talking about how they don't celebrate your birthday because you can't duplicate that day. You were born on that day at that time. So you can't possibly have another birthday. Well, let me just tell you my theory on birthdays. First of all, Birthdays are a day. It's the one day out of the year where you might see me completely out of character. Yes, your girl gets drunk. <laughs> no, but I mean, not like, you know, total shit face, but like, it's like the one day where I just say, you know, and everyone closest to me knows that this is like the one day out of the year where like I completely let my hair down and because I'm just so thankful for my birthday. I love my birthday, I'm a Sagittarius. And yeah, that's, and in the rest of the year, I'm back to being, you know, serious, um, focused, you know, not that much exciting. <laughs> well, that's like more so now. When I was younger, that's like a whole nother video. <laughs> but listen, speaking of birthdays, um, which actually this has nothing to do with birthdays, but I just wanted to stop in and just talk to you guys briefly about like on some good health shit because you guys know I got great tips. I mean, I read the comments. I know. Also, I want to just say, um, you guys, please forgive me for the sound. I'm working on it. I just moved into a new studio and the ceilings are extremely high in here and there's all hardwood floors. And so I'm working on getting the sound right. So just stay tuned. But back to what I was saying. So today we're going to talk about mushrooms. And I know a lot of you may be hearing a lot of chatter about the future of psychedelic mushrooms and mushrooms in general, right? So I've been doing my own research and listen, you want to hear this. So I don't know how true this is. I believe it to be very true because I've heard it from multiple people, but I'm going to say it anyways. I don't know if you know this, but you know how you take medicine in America and or medicine anywhere, I guess. But you know, medicine it gives you the that that feeling of drowsiness. Sometimes it's like it, it it makes you feel like the pain has gone away, and then you get kind of like drowsy and you want to go to sleep, or you know everything gets numb so you don't feel it because you know they don't give us medicine to cure us; they just give us medicine to subside, right? Okay. Well, that's opium. Yes. A lot of our Medicine has opium in it. And it comes from the Middle East or the, the, a lot of countries that we go get it from. And they don't necessarily want to give it to us a lot of times, so we just take it. I know I shouldn't say this. This could get me in so much trouble. But this is what happens when you have like a YouTube channel. <laughs> you guys, don't forget to like this video. Let's get this in the algorithms. I don't even know what an algorithm is, but I hear everybody else saying it, so I'm saying it too. And don't forget to subscribe, because everyone says that too. I'm such a follower. <sighs> okay, I'm back. No, but seriously, like, you know, this, um, this is what is going, the next wave of this is going to be the psychedelic mushroom or some form of mushroom. Um, I was actually gonna attend a mushroom, a psychedelic mushroom retreat in Jamaica. Um, I'm still trying to figure that part out. I've never done it. So what? No, but so basically, um, there's only two places in the world that are legalized to do this type of thing, these, to have these psychedelic mushroom retreats. And that's in the, ne the Netherlands, which I'm sure is probably in Amsterdam or whatever, and Jamaica. And just so you know, it's called Atman, A-T-M-A-N, Retreat in Jamaica. Look it up. It seems pretty cool. And, and the thing is, if you've never done it or if you have done it and you just really have like an intention, you know, these are the kind of environments you want to be in. Okay, so remember the other video I was telling you guys I was going to do, uh, do a whole video on mushroom coffee? Well, I want to show you something. This isn't a paid advertisement. But right now, currently, I'm trying out this... Um, I don't really understand the brand name, but it's Shroom DNA. 
I'll post a better picture when I edit it. But this is an instant mushroom coffee. And this one has, I think it has like seven different mushrooms in it. I'm gonna try this one. I'm really liking this so far. And then I am going to um, try some other brands that have been recommended. But just so you know, like the future is in mushrooms. If you're looking like for future investments or projects to get involved in, I personally highly recommend the mushroom industry and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, so correction. This one has lion's mane and it has chaga. Um, lion's mane is one of my favorite mushrooms right now because um, it's all about focus, clarity. It's like uh, the spark plugs in your brain, like it gives those a boost. So that's lion's mane mushroom. If you get your hands on some of that, it will, like, especially like people who suffer from like dementia or Alzheimer's, or if that runs in your family, I highly recommend like starting to add this to your tea or to your food. Um, here's what the packages look like. They're instant. So you just add hot water, which I like. And I can put these in my purse and eat them on, drink them um, when I'm out and about. Yeah, you can, you can Google, um, Google the uh, lion's mane or the shaga mushroom. I believe the shaga mushroom has a lot to do with, um, so like there's, start, there's, so the reason, okay, I have so many thoughts on this. Let me gather my thoughts. So like there's the psychedelic mushrooms and then there's like the mushrooms that aren't psychedelic mushrooms, right? Like the ones you can buy in the grocery store. Um, shaga, shiitake, lion's mane, turkey tail. There's like seven, I believe, different mushrooms that are really active right now that they're using um, for a lot of health reasons. It's kind of like if you would have got in on the marijuana industry before it like took off. This is this is the next wave, I, I believe. These videos are just thoughts and my thoughts and my opinions and all that kind of stuff. This is like the disclaimer that's supposed to go around, like scroll at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> so I just looked it up. The Chaga Mushroom, C-H-A-G-A, -A, uh, reduces inflammation, um, low blood, lowers blood sugar, cholesterol, fights cancer. Um, let's see here. God, there's so many mushrooms. Oh, that's the lion's make. And then the um, oyster mushrooms are, oyster mushrooms are really good. They're like one of my favorites to eat. But let me tell you about the lion's mane, right? And this coffee. So it's a different type of it's a different type of rush. It's a different type of effect than caffeine. And I'm gonna tell you, this is it's more of a focus, clarity, laser focus type of rush that you get from drinking mushroom coffee. It's not like the jittery caffeine type of effect. And you know, a lot of things say that they fight cancer and help prevent cancer, but what the studies show with the chaga mushroom is that it has a 60% um, success rate in reducing tumor sizes. So um, that's where they, they got that. And then the cholesterol, inflammation, you know, things like that. Um, I highly recommend you spend some time and just look into the... Um, look into the res the benefits of these different types of mushrooms because I really believe this is like the future of medicine. There's actually studies that say that mushrooms, uh, what is it, the percentage? There's a high percentage, I don't wanna misquote, but there's like a high percentage of the amount of our medicine that will have some form of, if you read the Rob Report, they have a really good, um, I read an article in the Rob Report about like the future projections of mushrooms. Like they're saying in the next five, I think five years, maybe five, less than 10 years, it's gonna be like a $700 billion industry. And I think that might be more in response to the psychedelic mushroom, because I know that uh, for a fact, they are using it to treat mental health, um, people with uh, suicidal issues or suicidal thoughts, depression, things like that. I know for a fact they're using psychedelic mushrooms 
to treat those things and those those illnesses and their have I don't know what to call them not illnesses not disease but those those type of um, problems they're using it to treat those things and and they're having a high level of success okay so look I'm not gonna talk you guys' head off about this subject but I'm actually quite passionate about it and I've been doing a lot of research um, I even found I went and got this I even have mushroom creamer for my coffee and it's quite good and it's um this one is a super food creamer I really like it it all gives me great energy great focus and a long life so listen look into it for yourself and then leave me a comment below and let me know how you feel about this Okay, so now it's the time for us to take a deep breath and say goodbye and happy birthday to me. <laughs> Peace.